Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching angel answer card. So what do we have for Libra please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Libra for the week. What do we have for the week? Message for Libra for the week, please. No. <laughs> I've got a feeling, you know, what's coming to me in that is you're going to say no to somebody. You'll say no. Because <laughs> it's... It's, I've got take action at the bottom of this, which is an interesting one, but it feels like the action is you're saying no. <laughs> okay, let's go with it, Libra, and see what we get. Cards are what they are, and they come out for a reason. I'm really getting this energy. I, I, I feel it's an answer you're giving to somebody. Interesting. I'm going to pull three cards and then we clarify, go deeper into the message, you know, by now. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Libra. Okay. Message for Libra. Thank you. The magician in the challenge position. Eight of cups. Interesting. I had that for Aquarius. And the nine of wands. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Libra. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was feeling that, you know. Okay. Three of Swords. And the Nine of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. I'm going to clarify this Two of Cups because I've got a feeling that that's linked with the Angel card. Let's clarify this Two of Cups for Libra, please. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Five of Swords, okay. Libra, um, I'm seeing this magician. The magician it can be about manifesting something new. It's interesting the challenge position. It can it can mean a number of things to me as a reader. And for me, it feels like some kind of it can be to do with communication. Mercurial energy, the magician. So it can be to do with communication, and I'm definitely feeling some communication is coming your way. Now, generally, the Eight of Wands is, is forward-moving energy, but in the challenge position, it might well be whether you want to move forward on this or not, you know? Um, and that's definitely what I'm getting as an initial energy. You know, there's a, there's a kind of wonderful silver tongue energy with the magician in the challenge position as well. Somebody saying all the right things, doing all the right things, and that's what I was feeling as well. You know, it, it, but, you know, it's... The magician is master, you know, is generally master of those four corners of the earth, four elements of the earth, um, earth, air, fire and water, you know, can manifest anything. But, you know, it definitely feels like there's, there's a, I'm seeing this magician as somebody, it's interesting. Yeah, and you, we've got uh, the Ace of Wands, which can be about a new beginning. I've got a feeling here, and I'm getting a number of things from this, Libra. It feels like you'll be getting some communication from somebody. Um, but there's also an energy of how you want to take action and manifest a new path. With the Ace of Wands being in the challenge position, it's a newly formed path. 
how you're, it's, the wand hasn't quite been created yet, the door hasn't quite been opened yet, you're in the process of manifesting it and taking action towards it. Now, you know, the Eight of Wands, yes, this can be to do with communication, conversations, how you take action to move forward. So it, it feels in this energy, you're manifesting a new path, but it's almost kind of like in the process of doing that. But I'm definitely getting some communication coming your way as well. And I was definitely getting that from this, from these energies because they're both mercurial. And that's why I was picking up on that quite strongly. Mercury and Sagittarius here. Because we have, I mean, you know, the thing is, the advice from spirit is walk away. Three of Swords, the, the meaning of it, so, you know, if you look at the the fact that it is Saturn in Libra, um, you have been tested. And there is an opportunity that you are feeling to break free from somebody who has hurt you, caused you pain, some difficult truth that you've had to deal with, can be third, part, third party situations, it can be to do with love, romance, relationships, or in other areas of your life, you know. Um, it, it, you know, the Two of Cups is essentially a bond between two people. So that could be friendship, that could be family, that could be love, romance, relationships, you know, whatever this is for you, it is generally the test of a relationship, the Three of Swords. It's something that's caused you emotional pain. But this truth that you have seen has is allowing you to make your mind up to walk away, to turn your back on some disappointment, some hurt, something that doesn't serve you anymore, which is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, essentially, it can be a card of abandonment, walking away, um, disappointment as well. And it feels like you've been bitterly disappointed. You're turning your back on some bitter disappointment. And it feels, in this situation, there has been some argument here you know, conflict, dispute, but somebody is wanting to make peace. You know, the Two of Cups is someone wants to re-establish the bond. Somebody is offering, you know, waving the white flag here to do with some conflict here. But, you know, essentially the Five of Swords is somebody who, it's a kind of winners and losers energy, you know. Uh, there's the victor and then there's those who lose the battle. You know, and, and it feels in this situation, whatever this fallout has been, I'm definitely getting in this energy that even if there is some kind of peace offering here, the answer is no, you're walking away because somebody has hurt you too much. It feels like they've done detrimental damage to whatever this relationship was in whatever context. And the Nine of Wands is a test. You've been tested. It's a test of faith card. It's the Wounded Warrior. And there's definitely an energy of perseverance with the Wounded Warrior. Keep going. Because I'm definitely feeling these new beginning energies. You know, the Ace of Pentacles, in a sense, can be about moving, relocating, home. Uh, can be to do with career financial opportunity, the new door opening. It's generally a new beginning energy, a new start energy. Um, it can be to do with manifesting a new path, the, the, the Ace of Pentacles, because it is all about our physical reality. The, you know, the Ace of Pentacles can be to do with our relationships, our, our money career, our home, our property, can be to do with our health. And it definitely feels for some of you, you are taking care of you. Um, you know, there's there's definitely an energy of, of persevere. You're one wand away. And this is why I'm saying that last wand, you know, the nine and one make ten and ten is a completion. You're one wand away. Interesting. I'm seeing that now from manifesting this new reality for yourself. Yes. It's interesting how the cards come out and how they make sense. So this, it's almost kind of like this concrete reality is coming your way. It feels like there's one thing to do, one hurdle to go, and then you're finally breaking free. One I to dot, one T to cross, and then you're finally breaking free. It's, it's not quite the same as Aquarius energy. I had a similar one for Aquarius, but 
you know, uh, similar in terms of walking away energies, but it feels it's from her, you know? This is about you taking care of you because it's Saturn in Libra. You've learned the lesson and you're walking away, you know? It's taught you a valuable lesson and you're walking away now. Yeah, so I'm feeling that you're saying no to somebody. I am. And you're, this is somebody who isn't worried about offending somebody else because they've been hurt. You know? Uh, you know, the Five of Swords can be, you know, there's bad feeling, resentment, bitterness. But it feels in this situation you're not afraid of offending somebody because they've hurt you deeply. Okay. The tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound it makes. Yeah. And we have lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. I definitely feel in this energy there is this newly formed new beginning coming your way. I love the energy of this Libra and I love the way the cards have come out in that challenge position because it all kind of makes sense now. Um, there is your one thing, one wand away from manifesting this new path and it definitely feels in this situation someone might be offering you a peace off it, offering reconciliation, pouring oil on troubled waters but they've hurt you too much. You know, I think they've done too much damage which they would do in the Three of Swords. So I'm definitely getting in this energy somebody saying no, certainly not for now anyway. Um, obviously it might not resonate with all of you. You know, you have to trust as with all the Eight of, eight of the Cups energies. The Eight of Cups is all about trusting your intuition and being guided by the intuition in how you take action. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.